this is Ms. Ombo and Jamie with our first art lesson. In art, we'll have a mini lesson on a topic. I'll teach you the steps to completing an art project and then after you're done, you'll take a picture of what you create and share it with the class. Today's special topic is parachutes. How does a parachute work? Well, let's think of the example of a stone and a feather. You're in a place without air and you drop both of them at the same time. In this situation, they should hit the ground at the exact same time. On Earth, then, why does a stone hit the ground so much sooner? Is it because a stone weighs more? Well, that might be what you think, but the answer actually lies in the air. Air is made up of tiny gas particles, and these gas particles hit against objects as they fall. Since a feather is more spread out than a stone, it actually has more surface for the gas particles to cause drag, and that makes the feather fall down slower. So when a person jumps out of a plane, their body is kind of like the stone, and their parachute is like the feather, which keeps the person from plummeting to the ground quickly. First, draw a head. Then draw the crash helmet and goggles. Next, draw the nose and the mouth. Draw the body. Add arms and hands. Draw a harness and some straps. Draw the legs and the feet. And now fill it in with crayons. Add lines to the straps to create the parachute. Attach the parachute. Color in the parachute. And that's our parachutist. Once you finish drawing your figure, add a background where you would want a parachute if you were the person in the parachute. Hi, this is my Finnish parachutist and she's flying above a field of wheat and a field of pink flowers. I'm curious where your parachutists are flying over. Take a picture and post it so that the rest of us can see.